So today I'm going to discuss with you the applications of the dot product. Now, let's suppose we have two vectors. The first one is u, and this is a vector in three-dimensional space because it has three components, as you know, one, two, four. And then the second one is v. There's also another vector in the three-dimensional space. Now, when we have two vectors like this, the, the question is now, what is the angle between u and v? So that's the question. What is the angle between u and v? Now, if you remember how we get the dot product between two vectors, you can get the dot product by doing this calculation. So basically, the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v and then times the cosine of an angle between them. So essentially, when you want to get the angle between two vectors, we can use this equation. And then you can now have a quite famous formula, which is cosine theta is equal to the dot product between u and v. And then you divide by the multiplication of their magnitudes. So the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Now, in this case, when you want to get the angle between two vectors, you need to get now the dot product between u and v, which we already did before. So what happens is when you have now this 1 to 4, and then you dot product with now 2, 5, 8, so what you do is simply to multiply the same component. So 1 times 2 and then plus 2 times 5 and then plus 4 times 8. So in this case, we get <coughs> 46. No. So one times two is two actually. So 44. So that's the dot product. And again, the dot product gives you a scalar, a value. Now, if you look at what we have here, we need also to get the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. So let's get now the magnitude of u. And if you remember how we get this, that's simply the square root this one plus one square plus two square plus four square so square root <clears throat> one plus four plus 16 root 21 and then the magnitude of v here it's square root two square plus five square plus eight square so square root four plus 25 plus 64 what is that so it's square root um, 93, right? Now, I think I'll, I'll calculate the exact value of this first, yes. So square root 21, if you have your calculator, that's 4.58. And if you have your calculator, square root 93, it's 9.64. Now what you do is simply to insert those numbers into this equation. So what is a, uh, u dot v again, 44 divided by 4.58 and then times 9.64. So let, let me just calculate the number first, yes. So if you if you have this, basically the um, value of cosine theta it's zero point nine nine six, and then 
using your calculator, you can get now the angle between them. So that's that's around four point seven degrees. <laughs> so hopefully, this calculation is correct. If you have your calculator, you can confirm that also. But that's how we calculate the angle between two vectors. Now there is actually another application of the uh, dot product, which is finding the um, projection of a vector onto another vector. Projection, for example, of u on to v so how how do we get this projection now let me let me draw again so that you will know what we mean by projection so let's suppose we have this vector v and then we have now this vector u yes now as you know when you look at vector u it has the components so the first one is the component which is parallel to v so that's actually the projection of u on to v right so that's that's obvious when you think about projection it's like you are now shining a light and then you have a shadow and the shadow is here so that's that's the projection of u on to v so the question is now how do we get this vector so again projection of u on to v is a vector so how do we get these vectors? That's the question now, okay? Now, <clears throat> what happens is actually when you think about the projection of a vector, that's also a vector. And as you know, when you think about a vector, this is a quantity that has two things. This is a quantity that has a magnitude and direction, okay? So when you think about the projection of U onto V, Let's find its magnitude and also let's find the information that gives its direction. Yes. Now, I think let's get the first one. In this case, the magnitude, the length of this arrow. And that's easy, actually, because if you have now this vector u and you have now the magnitude of it, and also you have the angle between these two vectors u and v so essentially the magnitude of the projection here is given by the magnitude of vector u itself times cosine theta so that's that's the first component which is the magnitude now to give you the sense of its direction actually we will need to have the unit vector in this direction unit vector of v So essentially, I'm giving you the idea how to get the projection of a vector onto another vector. In this case, you need to get the magnitude and also its direction, which is given by its unit vector of B. Now, as you know, if you remember how we get the unit vector, that's simply 1 over the magnitude of V and then times vector V itself. <laughs> so that's, that's the unit vector. And also, if you now remember... Uh, the the cosine theta between two vectors that's given by the dot product between u and v and then you divide by their magnitudes u, magnitude of u times magnitude of v now you know when you look at what we got here essentially at the end it gives us the the projection of u onto v is just the dot product between those two vectors divided by the the square of of the magnitude of v times vector v so that's that's how we get the uh, the projection of u onto v okay now we already got the numbers before remember the dot product between u and v in this case it's 44 and then divided by what? The square of the magnitude of V. So that's square root 93. And then you take the square of it, which is 93. And then times, times what? Times with the vector of V itself. In this case, 258. Okay. 
Now, you know, be careful when you now think about the other way, which is the projection of V onto U, we will have slightly different looking formula. So now projection of V onto U. So in this case, we will still have the dot product between them. But then what you have here is you divide by the square of U magnitude, the magnitude of U times vector u. So that's that's how you get the formula from the first one, actually. It's quite similar, but be careful. Now, in this case, we will have now, again, the, the, the dot product between u and v, which is 44, and then divided by the uh, square of the magnitude of u. What is that? So root 21, and then you square it. That's 21, and then times the vector u. What, what is vector u before? So that's one to four. Okay, so that's the projection of V onto U. All right, so that's for today.